Solusless Scaling is an amazing app that allows us to not only boost our resolution from say 900 to 1080p, but to also get up to four times the original frame rate in just one click, drastically making our games run much smoother. Here's how to set it up and a guide on how to use it in just five easy steps, which of course also works for the original Ally and indeed all Windows based handhelds. An important note as we start in that I highly recommend following my 14 essential step optimization guide, link in the description. If you haven't done so already to optimize our Ally X like turning off virtual machine platform, setting core isolation to off as well, setting our RAM to auto and turning off very bright before we start lossless scaling. And I've also turned off all of the AMD features in the AMD app too to avoid any possible conflicts with lossless scaling. So for step one, let's download the lossless scaling app. So let's head into Army Crate, then to Game Platforms, then let's open the Steam app. In the search menu at the top, let's start typing in lossless scaling. And the first app from the store should be this duck on a blue backdrop, which is um, a pretty random choice for game art. But this is the one, so let's click on this. We can see it's got 86% positive reviews, which is great. It does cost around six pounds or dollars, which I do think is worth it. And don't forget, we can always get a refund from Steam if we really don't like it, if we've used it for less than two hours. For me, it didn't automatically appear within Army Crates when I bought it. So I went back into the Steam app, go to library, click on install, select where we want to install it, which in my case is the C drive and click install. And it now appears in Army Crate and has also created a desktop icon for easy launching too. So now we have the app installed, which you obviously only need to do this one time. For step two, let's launch the lossless scaling app, either from Army Crate or as I'm gonna do for my desktop shortcut. And it did take a few minutes this first time to launch. So every time we want to use this lossless scaling feature, we launch it first. And notice that this is only available exclusively on Windows. It's not currently for use on Steam OS. And when it loads up, we get this main game profile screen, and it definitely is worth getting to know this a little bit the more we use it. And we'll come back to this in a moment. A quick tip is that the Ubisoft Connect app has the Ubisoft Plus subscription for $15,000 per month. And this allows us to play the ultimate editions, day one of the latest games like Outlaws, Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, Assassin's Creed Mirage, The Crew Motorfest, and also Avatar, which is pretty neat. Now we don't want to close all running programs as we need the lossless scaling app open. So let's select to launch the next program anyway. So with our game loaded, lossless scaling does not work when our games are in full screen like this. So let's head to our games inbuilt settings into the video section and select the window option. So now we are ready. For step four, let's now boost the resolution. So in my example with Outlaws here, now I've set the windowed mode. Let's now set this from 1080p to 900p. Back into the lossless scaling app, let's hit the scaling type dropdown. AMD FSR does work well, but the default LS1 as it is the best. So let's select this. To activate this, we press the top right blue scale button that starts a five second countdown. Then quickly head into our windowed game and it has now been upscaled to 1080p. So right here, even though we set it as 900p in the game, it's now running upscaled using the lossless scaling app to 1080p. I'm running through the gorgeous little village here in Outlaws. I think we'd be hard pressed to tell if this was side by side next to the real 1080p to notice the difference. Pretty awesome stuff. Of course, this probably is dependent from game to game. So let us know in the comments which games you've noticed that particularly benefit from this boost in resolution using the app. If we swipe up on the taskbar back into the lossless scaling app and we click on the status arrow on the bottom left, then this confirms that yes, the resolution is at 900p, but it truly is now scaled up by a factor of 1.2 to 1080p. And we can then head back into the game to enjoy this high resolution. And now let's boost the FPS. And so for the final step five, let's now boost the FPS. So let's swipe up from the taskbar, head into the lossless scaling app, and it's now in this frame generation column, which is currently set to off. Now I couldn't swipe up and down to scroll for some reason, so I'm gonna use this really cool compact wireless Bluetooth foldable keyboard and trackpad. I'm gonna cover this in my Essential Ally X Accessories video next, so make sure you're subscribed as you do not want to miss that one. 
So in the main drop down, let's change this from off to LSFG 2.3. In the mode, we can select times two, times three, or an insane times four scaling. Let's choose times two for the moment, which really does give the best results. Leave performance to on, leave everything else as is as we scroll down. In sync mode, quite a few people choose V-Sync half, but default does work super great, so I'm gonna select this. We can leave max frames at one, but raising can improve performance, but it does also introduce some lag. We need to experiment here, but I'm going to select two. Draw FPS is what appears in the top left. So let's keep this to on and we're all good. So recap of the five key things here. LSFG 2.3 is selected. Mode is times two. Sync mode is default. Max frame latency. I'm going to try two and draw FPS is set to on. Let's press the blue unscale to reset, then scale, then quickly head into our game. And this is now 900p boosted to 1080p. And we've now also doubled the FPS from around 25 to 50. And this does feel noticeably smoother. And I know I'd be very happy to complete this game at these settings. It really would make an incredibly enjoyable way to complete this game. Out of interest, let's try boosting the FPS by times four. So let's select this times four in the mode, press the blue unscale and then the blue scale. Our game goes full screen and it's telling us it's going from around 18 FPS, which I'm not sure if that's right, to around 70 FPS. This is very smooth, but it does glitch out a bit when we spin around rapidly. So while it may work better in other games, I think for this, I'm gonna swap back to times two, where we are hitting the high 40s. And as I say, I think that this is the sweet spot for lossless scaling. Congratulations, you now fully set up for lossless scaling. Hit like if this helped you and also drop a comment on your experience with this and share any tips in the comments below. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. If the version of you from five years ago could see you right now, they'd be so proud. Keep going. You know what? We may not be where we want to be, but thankfully we are not where we used to be. So let's keep growing and so stay encouraged today, guys. And if you want to know how to dual boot Steam OS with Windows using Bazite, which is absolutely epic, then check out this guide. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.